we're here attempting another uh, FSC drive. Um, what was that? I asked you if you could swing in the Kroger. Swing in the Kroger? Yeah. I just wanted to see how long the line was. That's the pie you want to go to Kroger? To tell Charlotte because she was about to leave. Oh, okay. So we're attempting another drive. We're going out at like uh, twilight-ish time, so not quite dark yet. Do you mean to actually stop in there? She didn't reply to me. I mean, just, I could probably see from here. But if it's long still. Doesn't look like it. I can see brake lights back fast, no. but not as long as it was before. Gotcha. I'm surprised the car didn't break hard for that car that pulled out in front of us. Yeah, it actually. braked a little bit there when the, the car pulled out, but it, it certainly didn't. But the old thing would have been like... Oh, slamming no. on it like crazy, yeah. So it's definitely better that it's not doing crazy stuff like that. We were actually out earlier recording, and or not recording, but using FSD, and the car managed to... Um, drive down a street that didn't have any lanes painted on it. Like it was a brand new paved street. So I was kind of surprised how well it did with that. Versus our neighborhood. It did much better than it does with like our neighborhood, which isn't doesn't have any lines. It had like in the center there were like these little like squares um, yellow where they're like planning to paint so you can clearly see that they were getting ready to line it up but you know you only had one little mark every like 15 feet or so and it still did a pretty good job with that well, this is the first time we've kind of really tried FSD out when it's not daylight out so experiencing some firsts here. I mean, it's not pitch black yet. It's, you know, 7 p.m. Not the most uh, complex of destination here, but figured get another video in and try some of the nighttime, see how it goes. I feel like it's following a little closer than it has in the past, but maybe not. Maybe it's just annoyed. Because the car <laughs> is going so slow. Yeah, that could be why. Are you still in the aggressive mode? Uh, no, I turned the lane changing down to whatever a step down for aggressive up from Mad Max was. reasonably far away. So nothing too eventful here. Uh -oh. Yeah, 
the speed limit is 40 on this road and it always drops down to 25. Or yeah, something, or something weird that we noticed there is just when you make the right turn there, the speed drops to 25, but oh, it's 35. It's the speed's 35, and I don't know where it's figuring 25 at because even before that spot, it's not 25. Like this is a two-lane road. I think it's 40 before the light. Yeah, it so um, I don't, here. I don't know why it's defaulting to to the 25. just for our neighborhood all right well that was just supposed to be a quick little video do some twilight driving we didn't have any issues with any of the turns or anything so that drive was fully successful okay. that was a little close yeah <laughs> i think it really just like freaks out with the, the oncoming traffic i wish it would just like hold closer to Closer the to road. the edge of the road, yeah. I, I mean, I guess it, it, it just doesn't know what is kind of road. Are worried about is. like mailboxes? I, yeah, I don't know. Them, I mean, I'd rather take out a mailbox than <laughs> another car. But. Yeah, that's certainly something we've noticed going through our neighborhood. Is it, you know, it drives pretty much in the center and it waits like until the last second to get over if oncoming traffic's coming. Like that back there, we were we were pretty close to the other car. I don't think we would have hit it, but I'm sure they were like, uh, "What is this person doing?" Yeah. So. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you uh, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you get notifications whenever we go live.